It's always amazing when we get to release these animals, but for me, my personal satisfaction is when we get to go back out later and, and look for them, and then we find them again, swimming around, doing really well after being out on their own for like months and months. That's what I find most exciting. The work doesn't stop after the release, you know? Most people think, oh, you've released them, great work. But actually, we've got a whole team of people that spend their life working on the turtles you know, in the field. We work with Deep High um, as part of the Saving Our Species program. After our two releases now, Deep High are out there you know, all the time monitoring, surveying, tracking these turtles. And so far, they're having such great success, better than we expected. I get to look after them here. They've got the hard work because they're out in the field trying to find them, and it's a needle in a haystack. So the long-term goal for this program is for the river to be self-sufficient, for these turtles to be breeding on their own out in the wild. So we're just supplementing. Um, we work very closely with Symbio, where we've set up a second um, assurance population of these turtles. So together, our aim is to be able to breed as many turtles, get them out in the wild, and hopefully those turtles then will start breeding. And I guess one of the really exciting things would be to be around to see the turtles that we've bred come up and lay, or to find them gravid, which means they're pregnant, to have those guys reproducing in the wild, to me, then that's success. Then we've all achieved what we're set out to do. If we can have our captive animals breeding out in the wild, then this is what it's about. We're saving a species.